Well, it depends on the person. For me, it's a very exciting time. Uh, uh, it uh, seems to me that uh, my old dream of, the, of unification of ideas, that uh, the ideas and formulas of in one part of physics uh, miraculously turns out to be important turn out to be important in a completely different part of physics and that's happened more and more and there is so you erase the boundaries between different parts of physics and hopefully in the future there will be some beautiful subject called future physics not uh, condensed matter, not elementary particle, but physics as a whole. And it moves slowly, uh, it moves very slowly, unfortunately, but uh, it definitely moves. Uh, so, on the other hand, uh, you know, uh, Dirac once said that um, uh, after a revolution produced by quantum mechanics, even a second-rate physicist could do first-rate work. Um, today it's a kind of an opposite situation, uh, but it's very tough, very tough going because uh, of uh, because the subject reached very high level of sophistication. So it is difficult uh, to any any step is difficult. It's like last like last steps towards uh, the top of the Everest. The, uh, no oxygen very very little oxygen uh, but it's exciting and um, uh, you see i may have many different problem problems and um, uh, frustrations about uh, various things but uh, i uh, it's it's never about uh, physics and i don't know what to do I, each morning i am uh, uh, besieged by problems, I know what to do, but it's another matter whether I can do this. But uh, so I suppose that's what I think about it.